Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I'm the Niche Fragrance Collector and I am really excited. I have Meo Fushimi with me. This is an absolute honor. I am I'm really, I, I'm, I thank you, honestly, because thank it, you to you. it was such a, an adventure getting to um, Salso Maggiore de Terme. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah, right. If you haven't seen the fragrance adventure video, I'd love you to have a look at that. that details our journey to come and meet Mel and Federica. Thank you for oh. allowing me to be here, my friend. Thank you, Marcelo. Hello, everyone. I am very happy to meet you in uh, our atelier. Uh, it's the, the place where uh, all our work are born, all our inspiration, uh, and uh, all our life uh, uh, come. Uh, so I am very happy today uh, speak with you and tell uh, to your audience uh, our story, our inspiration uh, and uh, our collection. Thank yes. you. Thank you very much. Now, Mel, you weren't always a perfumer. So you didn't like grow up and go, you know, I want to be uh, a, a maker of perfumes. Tell me your backstory. I was born in Sicily mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, after nine years my family moved to, to the north of Italy for, uh, for take us, uh, give us uh, the, the opportunity for the future. And so I am a chemist. After the study of chemist, I make the study in the University of Parma about uh, a medical uh, herbalist. 12 years ago, uh, almost uh, my life uh, changed completely. During uh, one journey in uh, Istanbul, in our life, uh, a sound journey are very uh, important. Right. And for me, during this journey in solitary journey in Istanbul, uh, I think a lot about uh, the changement of your path. It changed my vision because Istanbul uh, during the winter is very, it's very strange with a noir atmosphere and you have time for reflect in yourself, right? In a uh, inner myself. In Istanbul, what happened? What because you had the foundation of your chemistry for the the molecules, but what made you go? I want to now take this into... Because uh, my dear friends ask me why Mayo with your uh, knowledge about the plants, about the aromat uh, aroma, uh, aromatic uh, knowledge, uh, why you don't make a perfume for the niche uh, market? I feel that you put a lot of your... Um... Well, you put a lot of your memories into your fragrances. It, it's, it reflects more, it reflects you. So, because one thing that I've noticed is that, and I've heard you say this, that you don't, you're not driven by what's popular. So if um, vetiver is a popular note, you're not gonna go in that direction. You are driven more by capturing that olfactory moment that you encountered or felt or experienced and you want to put that into a fragrance. My first vision of perfume is um, olfactory memories. Right. And so I, I, uh, I don't think, uh, 12, 12 years ago, uh, uh, I don't know, so which is the, the best, the most important uh, material, uh, most famous, no. Uh, which is my, my goal? My goal is to put in the bottle the olfactory memory of my life, and I know, our collection is very autobiographical. This is, is our risk. Yes, yes, but yes. I know, yes. and I love this. Yes, yes, and, and this is because the, that, that is the point that you're not you're not following a trend or you're not following um, something that is popular necessarily. You're creating from your heart. You're creating something that is a part of you and part of your experience. And sometimes this is not for everybody. Uh, I know, I know, but uh, Marcelo, everything of this is a chapter of my life. Right. And uh, uh, after uh, 15 years, in the, uh, at the end of my life, I can see this and uh, I can see my it's life. Beautiful. And for it. me, it's important, Marcelo, when you, you tell me your emotion, when you smell my uh, perfume. Uh, I don't interested to good, not good. I want 
to uh, to hear from you your emotion. Yes. As if you, your emotion is the similar my emotion, okay. This. Uh, yeah, You've I achieved think, your yeah. This yeah, is yeah. This yeah. is my work. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Take a, a me altered memory in my life and put in the life of other people. Yeah, and uh, make the link with. I love it. Okay, can we smell something? So where would you so, like to start? So, so uh, I think uh, it, it's a very uh, nice for me and for you. Start with the latest uh, person and call the Tomp. Uh, so, because it's the latest uh, perfume and also because it's the first uh, perfume that I, I dedicate to my, my wife, Federica. And, uh, this is your love song to her. Yeah, this is uh, my love song. Uh, Which I love. Yeah. I, I love, I love, uh, I love. And, All yeah. your other names are Italian. Uh, uh, Nota de Viaggio. Yeah. Nota de Viaggio. But all of a sudden we've got a French name. Oh, because this is a romantic. Ah, yeah, <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I... That's what I thought, but I... It's a very romantic... Uncle de Tom. Yeah, so I love you. I love you, I love you my wife. I love this name. Beautiful. And, and, and so uh, maybe sometime in the, uh, in the life, uh, something is are very simple, no? Yeah. Why? Because it's so romantic. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, I, I, please, you're teasing me. I want to smell. But I, are I, you ready? I'm ready, ready. Okay. You know, one thing I do, I love putting it on my skin. Okay. But for now, I, I would like to spray it on what cut. You, what I would you, like on skin. Okay, I'm very much a skin yeah. guy. So, we are Marcelo. We have the Mekong. Mm. We are in Luang Prabang. And this time, I want to live forever. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Oh. So, yes. it's like a cup of tea. Mm, it's beautiful. When a few petals of a, a little flower of smantos mm. fall down mm. with a, a gentle enter with the bergamot and um, mandarin very gentle very different uh, from my past work this is a beautiful feminine fragrance it's a very delicate fragrance but i can i would wear this too i would want to wear this yeah, because uh, the, the, uh, the agreement uh, inside uh, with the green tea and mm. the yerba mate mm. um, make a um, green nuance, uh, uh, a little bit hay nuance, tobacco, mm. very herbaceous note, green, flower, fruity, but also green and herbaceous. I think the secret of this, this work is the equilibrium balance between the notes um, um, fruity flower sweet uh, and the green tobacco and animal notes because you know the osmanthus uh, um, have a, has a three different facets and during the evolution of performance perfume you can smell this different mm. facet of the osmanthus at the first time the notes of apricot yes uh, the second time the notes of grassy Mm. Like, like uh, oily, mm. and uh, at the end of evolution of, of this raw material, you can smell the notes of animal sweat. Mm. 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 Uh, I, I love, I love this flower. It's beautiful. This is beautiful. Thank you. This is really beautiful. Thank you. And I can see that this is definitely. What did Federica, when, when you presented this to Federica, what, what did when uh, When I work uh, with a perfume, Federica smelled the perfume after seven, eight months known before because for me the relationship with my creation is very secret it's very very intimate uh, so this person don't tell about uh, the character of federica because federica love varonasi <laughs> love uh, order 93 right very strong person very very decisive because this is a very feminine very yeah strong. but this is a tell about uh, our our link during the August in 2018 with love, with serendipity, with calm, with silence. And Code Temps tell about also a message for the future. I hope, I hope I to come it. back. I love that you are such a poet. Can you, because you, you're a poet, so you, you express yeah. yourself in poetry, but you also express yourself in poetry with your fragrance. So I, I love Thank how. You. You do it in words, but also in fragrance. Yeah. Beautiful.
Thank you. I love thank this. You. Thank I love you. this, my thank friend. Thank you. Thank you very much because it's a very... I'm getting the animalic now. No. I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm getting a little bit of the... So, the, the animalic notes um, in uh, uh, Uncle Tamp are not only uh, from uh, uh, Osmanthus, but also from Magnolia Graniforum. Right. Because the facet of Magnolia Graniforum are very very animalic notes, very right. Bluetooth notes. Uh, and the uh, agreement uh, in the herd uh, uh, are with uh, uh, Osmanthus, Magnolia and uh, Michele Ciampaca. Right. Yeah, with the nuance of the orange, ylang ylang. Uh, it's very strange for me to work uh, with, uh, with this type because, of path, no? Yes. You know my collection. Yes, because you know. normally you are, you are you're very much into the woods. You love your woody. You are... Absolutely, yes. But uh, you, uh, I, I think, uh, one choice, uh, I won't speak. I would like to speak with the people with the language of love. Mm. And for this, it's necessary for me to change my idea I love of perfume. It. And this is, a, for me, is a question of humility yeah, right. inside. Because uh, I know for me it's a great risk, risk, but it's a very risk with myself. You can do. Right. Mm, at the first time, I, I think, mm, I don't think. But after some time, uh, I put inside me the, the real, idea and I say me okay you can do you can do I was gonna ask you about the creative process because creativity look I, I don't I think I think creativity in perfume would be very hard because you are trying to take an idea that you have an olfactory idea that you have and put it into a bottle because you said that it takes you eight months to create yeah uh... Uh, I think Marcelo, the process, uh, the path uh, for me, uh, uh, it's very long and it's, it's uh, very important, the solitude in my work. In this room, uh, this dark room that you see, I spent a lot of time of my life uh, with the view in my silence garden. Uh, it's important, the link with me and the name, with me and the book, where I put all my idea. Uh -huh. all, all, uh, each book is for one, uh, one oh, perfume. Man. The process after the seventh or the first seven, eight months are very intimate. And after a uh, born the work of the male chemist, male perfumer yeah, in the yeah, yeah. another yeah. room yeah. that you to see before, no? Yeah. Uh, more technical. When I use the scale, okay, okay number with the balance with the number with the infra code, okay, okay, but forever with the vision in the brief, the idea, the you, dream. You, you know, like a brief, but for me it's my life. Yes, yes, you know? yes, yeah. Uh, I, I don't like a name brief, but uh, it's the common. But uh, for me it's my life. Yes, the brief is my life. Yeah, and this is I think this is the difference. Uh, uh, this is why you smell the real life inside our perfume because mm. the brief is my life. If there is a person who is new to your perfumes, so someone who hasn't experienced male Fushini's perfumes, yeah. which one would you recommend to them? Where would you like to start? Wow, it's a very hard <laughs> question, this Marcelo. But uh, uh, I think uh, uh, one uh, I know. I know which, and I think uh, Loblio. Okay. Loblio. I think uh, Loblio because uh, it's a, a message of poet. Uh, uh, tell about uh, how our journey in Cambodia for uh, forget all in our life and uh, reborn with joy. Yep. I have this one and I love this one. And you know, you know uh, Loblio and Loblio tell about also the inspiration uh, come from uh, the, the book of um, the, when you smell the first notes of Immortal, uh, I imagine you in a labyrinth of light and imagine my journey along the Mekong uh, with the silence, with the nature, with the notes of the herbs very dry because 
we, we, we have in, um, in Cambodia in March a very dry season uh, and you smell the, um, the pottery of the Tuk Tuk and the pottery of the uh, ancient temple uh, and so uh, you are you and your soul and you search the uh, forgotten it's important to forget sometime in your life for reborn with the joy and with serendipity. And this is what I think is the first step. <laughs> <laughs> I love this explanation because when I spray this, this makes me happy. But I, I, I couldn't, I, it just makes me happy. It's a, it's a smell that, you know. And this is the. And it, it, and it grounds me, it, it centers me. But I love the way, now I understand. Yeah, now I, I understand definitely my work because. I, if uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm speaking about the love and you smell and call it up, you, you no. understand, oh my God, love, this person tell about love. And uh, also- This is really in love. Yeah. You are really in love. This is like, yeah. this is, I, I, for, again, a yeah. love song. This yeah. is- The very important message for, for me, the connection with the perfume and the, your uh, real feeling, the first nuance, first moment, uh, when uh, you can you smell the, the perfume, oh man, okay, I smell the serendipity, I smell the love, I smell the obscurity in your life, and this is important. I am so scared to to share with the people my private emotion. I think yeah. it's the I think it's the secrets of our collection. Yeah, yeah, Mel, amazing. So Thank what you. I'm going to do, everyone, um, today was really just a chance to connect with the creator and connect from uh, an artistic point of view. I really wanted to understand all the things that you just shared today. Um, I am going to go into more detail how I interpret what I feel from your fragrances. I have four in, in my collection, which I absolutely love. Um, so I want to, I'm gonna go into more detail about those fragrances and what they mean to me. Mel, is there anything you would like to because I feel like I want to I want to ask you more questions, but I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to take too much more absolutely. of your time. Absolutely, we, we we put uh, for the last uh, order ninety three. Uh, and See, I love this one. I, I this know. is the one I fell in love with, and I thought when you said um, which is the first one, I was trying to I was trying to steer here. I know, I know, <laughs> but uh, but uh, I love uh, this one. A lot of people uh, uh, ask me, Mel, what's happened? after Varanasi and Coruton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Because Varanasi is... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, Varanasi, it was a very, very difficult, very deep uh, journey in India mm. uh, of me and Federica in 2017. Varanasi. Mm. Can I... This one on card. Okay. This one is... <laughs> I think it's better. <laughs> this one is. Um, I think so it's I don't better. have this one in my collection. Yeah. Um, it is. Okay. I'll, I'll let the master talk about the perfume. For you. Thank you, sir. So, well, when smell at the first time Baronazi, you can smell the contrast of the India. Mm -hmm. Sacred, profane, man, animal. Mm -hmm. uh, Everything, life, death. Uh, I found everything. Spices. Yeah, uh, the nose, very strong at the first time is mm. uh, saffron. Mm. Uh, and Marcelo, I found everything in India mm. about the life of the man. Mm. And this is my tribute, my personal tribute, I think uh, to the most mystical country, mystical journey mm. in my life. Mm. You're such a spiritual person. You're very deep. You're very, you've, you're very connected to your spiritual side. I spent a, a lot of time in my life uh, with myself. Mm. For me, the time is no uh, fast. It's very slowly. The time is very slowly. Slowly. And my life is very slowly. You know? mm. I love this. Because for my work, uh, for my inspiration, it's very important. It's a lovely time. It's a lovely time. It's a time for life. It's yeah. a piano piano. Piano piano, yeah. yeah. Uh, Which means take it easy. It's like and, uh, I, I, I want to uh, uh, say uh, one choice in Italiano. Uh, tutto inizia dal sentire. 
Everything comes from smell. No, say it again. Tutto. Tutto inizia dal sentire. I love it. I say perfume is life, but really smell. Yeah. Smell is life. Yeah. Because smell is the, the smell of my wife. Yeah. You know, her, her smell. Um, the smell of, like, when, when we came off the station, I could smell. It's so perfume is life. The, the smell yeah. of things. The smell of uh, Tilio. Tilia Tomentosa, yeah. uh, have, you, have we smiled together in, uh, in the station? Yeah. Uh, so the, it's the, the, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Tutto inizia da sentire. I love it, I love it. Love it. Signor Mel, yeah. thank you. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. You're thank welcome. You. It's a pleasure, it's a very great pleasure for me. When, when I walked in, I feel that this is your sanctuary. This is your, this is your place that you remove yourself from the world to come and create, to meditate and to create your, your fragrances. So I'm very appreciative that you, you let me come into your You're space and, and, uh, and be able to. Yeah, because it, for us it's a, like a temple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, felt, it, it feels that way. It's important the respect inside. Uh, and and uh, I love when the people feel this situation, this emotion, it is very important. As soon as I walked in, I could feel it. Emotion. Yeah, I could feel it as soon as I walked in. So I thank you, mate. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. Mel Fushimi, absolute genius. Please go have a look at his fragrances. I will be doing a review on the ones that I have in my collection, and I'll share more deeply, deeply how I feel about them and how much I love them. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys all on the next episode. Thank you.